Regarding the topic of false alarms, motion sensors can be a pretty significant source for false alarms if the motion sensor if the motion sensor is not properly uh, installed and if it's not properly set up uh, or if of course the motion sensor just flat out manufactures it, uh, malfunctions because of manufacturing defects you can see the circuitry on here uh, it's it's very difficult to get the circuitry on you know a hundred percent of the units a hundred percent every time so rarely you'll get a unit that's bad out of the box but um, if it is bad out of the box you're gonna determine that right away so false alarms now you'll notice uh, or I mentioned earlier where I drilled these custom holes I actually selected a drill bit that was exactly the right size for what I was doing in other words this the drill bit for the screw holes are are perfect so when the screws are tightened all the way down they'll seal that hole and the wire just barely fits through that hole and I mention this because you really don't want passageways for air to flow from outside the motion sensor to inside the motion sensor because we all know in a given room uh, the, the temperature in the room varies it never rem it seldom remains constant and therefore it seldom remains constant inside the motion sensor and uh, depending on the manufacturer make and model you might have a motion sensor that's sensitive to those those flows of air now you you know you won't feel that flow of air through a gap this particular motion sensor compensates for that but other motion sensors older motion sensors might not and if you have false alarm problems with those it could be because there's a passageway allowing air to flow from from the room itself into the motion sensor and the motion sensor gets confused thinking that's motion and it trips and now you're trying to figure out why you have a false alarm when it's as simple as a hole in the motion sensor so keep that in mind I like to go ahead and seal all the holes up to prevent airflow the other thing is you can install this on a flat wall and you can install it in a corner I recommend you consider spraying um, some sort of uh, bug control around the motion sensor not not on the motion sensor but around it because if a uh, insect crawls across the lens the motion sees that as a really large object and it could trip of course you know you have the opportunity where spider webs can be built you know if this is installed in a corner and a spider web is built over it that can be a source of false alarms so the pest control spray around it you know periodically if you update that pest control you can eliminate or reduce the opportunity for false alarms and again don't point this into a fireplace don't point it at a stove in the kitchen don't don't point it at a uh, uh, you know a vent in your ceiling that's gonna pour out hot air in the winter don't pour, point it at a you know a heat generating source um, or you know signs hanging from the ceiling or balloons that are bobbling around because depending on the make and model it can detect that and uh, that's a false alarm that nobody needs